DC, the single show number eight. It's going to be a rock review we're going to do. I don't think you guys are going to want to miss this one. Stick around. DC, the singles, man. Show number eight. It's going to be a great single we're going to re review. Man, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Hopefully you guys had a great week. Had a great weekend. Man, hopefully it just keeps getting better, man. Hopefully your, your month just keeps getting better, man. We, we started summer already. Fuck, dude. It's hot as, hot as fuck over here, man. Fucking shit, dude. Hopefully you guys are, are keeping cool out there. Hopefully all is well. We got a great single we're gonna review, but before I do that, man, for your storefront needs, man, your doors, your your glass, anything, man, in, in your business, man, hit up Advanced Mission Glass in Fontana, man, for all your store glass, um, everything you need with glass, man, in the business, not in the phone number is nine zero nine. 355 1969 dude definitely tell them Durant custom sent you dude um let me share with you guys man we got some new arrivals for the ebay links dude straight out of count and cd sealed man you want to add this to your collection you know where you can add it at, dude. You know where you can add it. Hit the link down below. We got easy, easy, easy does it, man. That was a fun. Two classic albums. One led into the next. Easy does it. Led into Straight Outta Compton, right? Then we got Slim Shady's first freaking album right there, dude. That Slim Shady LP Eminem. His Ultra Eagle Slim Shady, right? <clears throat> Fuck, dude. If you guys appreciate what I do here with the show and want to help it grow, the PayPal is P E O T H E D O N L W P at yahoo.com. And the name is Richard Duran, Duran Customs DC. You see the logo there. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, man. If you enjoy everything, like, subscribe, share, comment so that the fucking um, channel could grow. You know, show some fucking love and also follow us on Duran uh, on Twitch at Duran Customs. Bitch you Duran Customs. Also on Patreon. Subscribe there, man. We where I do some exclusive stuff there. Put some audio there also. Put up some audio, audio versions to the podcast and interviews that's only exclusively from there exclusive reviews that are only found there there's one up right now with um de la souls three feet high and rising man so make sure you subscribe there to the patreon and um man you know show some love man you know the paypal also man and uh, it's gonna be a great show let's jump into it the song that i want the members of the group the members of the group this song, man, starts off good with the guitar, nice and smooth, dude. Nice and smooth. The lead singer, man, she just takes it over, man. And it wasn't just this single, but this is the first single of this group that we're gonna... We're sharing, man. We're just a great, enjoyable rock group, man. Smooth rock, I want to say. Classic rock, maybe? Yeah. Man, but just smooth takes you back to the 80s well this one was late 79 it was released in 79 god what album was it i mean what label record label i gotta look that up but as um they weren't just popping here man they were popping in australia Br british britain i think it was a half british group american group and also in canada man members of the group was stevie nicks lead vocal she was the lead vocalist, track, piano, 
Lindsey Buckingham, dude, who also was fucking had some great fucking music solo, dude. And definitely, we're gonna share his music at least on the singles, you know, in the future. Maybe the next one, I don't know, man. You know, that song Trouble, dude. If you guys haven't heard that one from Lindsey Buckingham, fuck, you gotta check that one out. And you know what? Uh, we're gonna play a little bit of the song that, that we're reviewing today, you know? Later on. So, Lindsey Buckingham was acoustic guitars, backing vocals, Christine McVeigh, keyboards, piano, uh, backing vocals, John McVeigh. Maybe they were related. I don't know. John and Christine, maybe they were married. Bass guitar and Mick Fleetwood. Drums. Dude, was it his group? It had to be his group because it's Fleetwood Mac we're talking about. And the song is called Sarah, dude. Man, what a fucking badass jam that is. Beautiful fucking song, man. Beautiful song. Written by Stevie Nicks, man. She was badass. British American rock band, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Released as a single for the double fucking album called Tuss, the white white album, man. And I'll put the picture there. Right here, man. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Damn. Double fucking album in 79? You mean punk? Was it the first fucking double album in music history? What was the first fucking double album in music rock? So fucking funk, hip hop. What was the first fucking double album? Was this the first fucking double album? Or was it only double because it was on vinyl? I don't know. Gotta look into that shit. Gotta look into that. The album version, vinyl album version on this fucking song was 6 minutes and 22 seconds, dude. What the fuck? And then the fucking um, single version, I guess on the on the 12 inch or maybe on the 45, was 4 minutes and 37 seconds. Damn. And if you guys haven't, get yourself a cup. I'll put the link down below. Show some love, man. Get yourself a cup at least, man. 15 bucks. Man. So the single was, version was 4 minutes and 37 seconds. Song peaked at number 7 in the U.S. for 3 weeks straight, dude. Fuck, that's how fucking dope. See, man, I'm not the only one that thought this fucking song was dope. But it was released in 79. What fucking label was it off of, man? Record recorded in. Okay, released December 5th, 1979. The B side to several was That's Enough for Me. I gotta look. I haven't heard that one. I wish I could get the 45 of that label. Was Warner Brother label, dude. Damn. Songwriter was Stevie Nicks. She was fucking bad, badass. Producers Fleetwood Mac, Richard uh, Dawson. And Ken Kala. Damn. So Tusk was released in 79. Several was released in 79. The other single, Not That Funny, in 1980, dude. They had a lot of fucking albums and a lot of great fucking songs, man. The Chain. Fuck. What else? Uh, fucking all kinds of great fucking music from them, dude. And like I said, even Lindsey Buckingham put on his own, dude. Was it the wall, man? What else? Fuck, what else do they got, man? You know, they got so many great fucking hits, dude. So many great fucking hits, dude. But today, we're fucking honoring the song called Sarah, dude. Fuck, dude. Yeah, so in the UK, man, it peaked at number seven. Australia at number 11 in Canada, man. So they were very diverse, man. Diverse in their, the facts, man. We're all across the world, dude. Fuck, man. I guess Stevie Nicks, she, she dated a, she dated a couple of members of the band there, man. You know, the, uh, Stevie Nicks mentioned in an interview, um, if I'm not mistaken, before that the song was partially written for, good friend her good friend sarah who married her 
her her ex Stevie Nicks' ex boyfriend um bandmate Mick Fleetwood the drummer I believe uh, he was a drummer rumor has it it was all written also about her unborn child that was lost damn dude that sucks I guess Stevie Stevie Nicks she yeah, she dated Lindsey Buckingham man uh, who I who I had mentioned had some great fucking music solo music on his own that song trouble if you guys haven't heard it man check it out who knows but uh, and she also dated the drummer um mr fleetwood mick fleetwood fucking made for a great fucking song let's play a little bit of this motherfucking song right now man after this fucking commercial though after this commercial Comes in with that guitar, man. Wow. Beautiful song, man. Had to had to share it on the singles, man. Wow. Let me know what you guys think, man. Where do you guys rank Fleetwood Mac in your all-time rock groups, soft rock groups, man? Do they even make the list in your 1 through 50 rock groups, man? Far for me, they do. Do they make it on your mixtape of your life? Maybe, maybe, but I don't know whether it'll be this one. In the Sea of Love, damn. Beautiful song called Sarah. Bad shit, man. Damn, dude. So, write your favorite Fleetwood Mac album down below. Write your favorite fucking song from them down below. And if they make it on your your mixtape of your life, let me know. Let me know what you think of the song. Let me know what you think of the review, man. And if you like it, put a thumbs up. And if you like it, man, share, subscribe. Pretty cool fucking song, man, right? Fucking dope shit, dude. Dope. Dope fucking song, beautiful fucking song, Sarah. Man, let me know what you guys think. And like I said, where do they rank in your all time rock groups? Man, your top 50. What's your favorite Fleetwood Mac album? I'm pretty sure we got some Fleetwood Mac uh, CDs at least in the in the eBay or in, or in the dot com. I'll put the links down below. Do they make it on your mixtape of your life, man? If so, what number? What number do they rank in your mixtape? And what's your favorite Fleetwood Mac song? Write it in the comments down below. I want to interact with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Is it Twinkie the Corgi's favorite Fleetwood Mac song? I like the one from fucking Guardians, man. Was it The Chain? That was a dope one, too, man. They had so many fucking great fucking songs, dude. I'm telling you, man. And also, if you'd like, don't forget the PayPal, man. You know? P-E-O-T-H-E-D-O-N-L-P-P -P at Yahoo.com, man. You know? Yeah, man. Lots of great, uh, lots of great fucking music from them. So hopefully you guys um, enjoyed the the single review, show number eight, Fleetwood Mac Sarah. Peace, love, and light, and I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace.